Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 13 and we are looking at multiply by tens, hundreds, and thousands. So here, we'll start with our story problem. There are 12 cans of cat food in a box. How many cans of cat food are there in 10, 100, and 1,000 boxes? How do you find the answer? So we've talked about multiplying by 10 already. When we multiply by 10, all we are doing is moving the place value over one. And so you can see here, you have the 12, and you are moving it over into, so the one, and that's in the tens place, moves to the hundreds place. The two moves from the ones place to the tens place. And then that leaves us with a place value that's open. And what do we put in a place value? What is a place value holder? A zero. And so 12 times 10 is 120. We just move the place value over. Now here, we're doing something different. Now when we multiply by 100, we are going to move the place value over two places, all right? So the one now moves over two. So it's no longer in the tens, but it goes past the hundreds to the thousands. The two goes from the ones place to the hundreds. And again, that leaves us with two place values that are empty. So what do we put in those place values? Zeros. And then lastly, we're gonna do 12 times 1,000. So again, we have, we're gonna move it all the way over, so this one, this 10 is gonna become 10,000. The two is going to become 2,000. And we now have three place values open, so what do we do? We put zeros in them. Now, one way you can think about this is when you multiply by 10, you add a zero on the end. When you multiply by 100, you put two zeros on the end. When you multiply by 1,000, you put three zeros on the end. The reason I don't focus on it that way is because when you multiply by, when you have a decimal, it doesn't, it doesn't work like this. So that's why it's better to think I'm moving the place value over instead of just thinking in terms of adding zeros. All right, let's turn to page 14. All right, page 14. So here we have 341 times 10. So what we're gonna do, this is gonna move to the thousands place, the hundreds place, the tens place. I have a place value open, what do I put there? I put a zero to hold that place value. Now we're gonna do 341, 341 times 100. So now this is going to go from the hundreds place to the ten thousands place. Tens place to thousands place. Ones place to hundreds place. Moved everything over one, two place values, but now I have two place values open. What I put there to hold that value? Two zeros. And same thing here. Now I'm gonna move it over three spots, okay? So it goes from 300 to 300,000. Four, go, 40 goes to 40,000. One goes to 1,000, and now I have three place value open. What do I put there? I'm gonna put zeros to hold those place values. All right, next, number two. Okay, move it over one place value, 7040. Everything moved over one place value. Move it over two place values, 704, two place values open, one, two. This one moving over three place values, 704. Move it over three, so I need three zeros. All right, now let's look at page. 15. So on page 15, right, what would I need to multiply this by to get this number? Well, I'd need to move it over. Um, so here I have three zeros. So that means I moved it over three place values. So I'd have to multiply it by 1,000. Here I slid everything over two place values. So I'd need to multiply it by 100. Oops, no comma there. And here I moved it over one place value, so I'd multiply it by a 10. All right. 
let's, uh, let's look at this. So here we have an activity. Now we're going to use the place value disk to show this, right? So here, and I won't put one, uh, 100, 10, and 1. We'll just use the place value disk, okay? So here we have 2, 1, 3. So 2, 1, 3. Now it wants us to move it over one place value. So we're going to have 2, 1, 3. Nothing goes in that place value now because we've moved it over. Here we want to move it over two place values. So we're going to go 2, 1, 3. And here they want us to move it over three place values. So we moved it over one, moved it over two, moved it over three, and we have 2, 1, 3. Notice here that there's nothing in these. Why? Because when you're using a place value chart or a table like this, you don't put any disks to represent zero. Those are just zero. But all you can see is all we've done is we've moved the place value over a number of times. So how many zeros are is how many place values moved over. One place value, two zeros, two place values, three, three place values. Okay? So when we get done, we shouldn't have anything in here. We should be all empty, just like that. All right, let's turn to page 16. So here, All right, so fill in the chart. <clears throat> so here we have uh, 1,000. And so I think yep, it wants us to do, um, use the place value disk is, again. So we're going to have 1 in the 1,000, 4 in the 100s, 3 in the 10s, 2 in the 1s. And we're going to multiply by 10s. We're going to move everything over. So 1 here. Four here, three here, two there. Now we're gonna move it over two spots. So one here, four here, three here, two here. And now we're gonna move it over three spots. So now we have one here, four here, three here, two here. And so how do the digits shift? <clears throat> the digits, oops, digit shift one place value, to the left, for each zero. So 10 equals 1, 100 equals 2, 1,000 equals 3. All right, so all we're doing is shifting those digits over to the left because we're multiplying. And so here, here we can see that 1,000, or sorry, 142 times 40, right? We would do this multiplication, which they do for us, right? And then we're going to shift the place value over 1. So 172 times 4 equals 688. And now we're going to take 688 multiplied by 10. We're going to shift everything one over, over one space, 688. But here, unlike up here, up here I don't put anything in the chart to represent zero. I just leave it empty. I need a place value holder. So what do I use? A zero. Now here, again, we have 172 times 400. Right? So what's 172 times 4? They give that answer before. So 688. And now we're going to multiply it by the 100. So we're taking the 400 and we're breaking it into 4 and 2 hundred because four times a hundred equals four hundred. So now I have a hundred here. Again, we're going to shift the place value over to. So that's going to be six, eight, eight with two place values that are empty. What do I put there? Put zeros there. And the last one, okay? One seven two times four, right, was what they have here, equals six hundred and eighty-eight. Now again, 
Here we have 4,000. We've broken the 4,000 into 4 and into 1,000. Right, so here's the answer for that. That's going to be multiplied times 1,000. Now we're going to shift the place value over three spaces. 6, 8, 8, and we have three open place values. What are we going to put there? 0, 0, 0. And you can see how um, each time all we did was shift it over, right? It was six in the hundreds, now the six is in the thousands. It was six in the thousand, now it's six in the ten thousands. It was six in the ten thousand, now it's six in the hundred thousands. All right, let's slide over and look at page 17. All right, here it says fill in the blanks. Um, 3,026 times 30. All right, so what does that equal? The first thing we need to figure out is what is three, um, three times three, three times three thousand twenty-six. So, three thousand twenty-six times three. Right. Try to do this with me and see if you can do it faster. Three times six is eighteen. Three times two is six plus one is seven. Three times zero is zero. Three times three is nine. Okay. So we get. 9,078, and on here we're going to multiply it by 10. So we're going to shift everything one place value over. 9078, one place value needs one zero, right? So you can see the 9,000 is now 90,000. We just shifted everything one over, right? Now here we're going to do this. Now we're going to break up 300 into a 3 and 100. Now here we've already done the math, so we can just put 9078 times, so that's these two numbers right here, get that, times 100. Shift the value over to 9078, that means I have two place values here. There we go. Okay, so now it's gone from 90,000 to 900,000, so just shifting the place value 1. But here we're going to multiply by 3,000, so this is going to be 3 and a thousand, right? Again, these two right here become nine zero seventy eight. Now we're going to multiply by a thousand, so we're going to shift it over three place values to the left. Right? Nine zero seven eight, and I have three place values, so I need one, two, three, and get my cut thing there. So it went from nine hundred thousand to nine million. Just shifted the place value one to the left. All right, so now we have the practice on your own. So you're going to complete this on your own. Uh, so go ahead and <clears throat> um, pause the video here in just a second, and you'll do that. You'll do pages 17 and 18. All right. Now, the thing might be a little bit challenging. Do your best to figure it out. If you can't, that's okay. We'll come back, and we'll do that one together. All right, go ahead and pause the video now. Do those problems, and then unpause when you're ready to review it. All right, so let's look at these together. Right, so here we have 649 times 10. So let's just shift the value over one, okay? 649, need one zero on the end for that place value. Same thing, but now we're moving it to 649, zero, zero. And my comma there, my comma there, make it a little bit easier. Now to 10,000. So this is going to become 600,000. This is going to become 40,000. This is going to become 9,000. And I just need those place value holders on the end. Same thing here. We're going to have 5 is going to become 50,000. 8 is going to become uh, 800 is going to become 8,000. 0 is going to stay at 0. And the 6 is going to become 60. And I do one place value on the end. Here, 5,000 is going to become, oops, I put that there. 5,000 is going to become 500,000. 800 is going to become 80,000. 0 is going to stay 0, and 6 is going to become 600, and then I just need those two place value holders. And here, 5,000 is going to become 5 million, 800 is going to become 800,000, 0 is going to stay 0, 6 is going to become 6,000, and now I need those three place value holders on the end, and I put them just like that. All right, let's look at page 18. So here, you would have needed to, to break these up. So here, we're going to do 827 
times 6, 827 times 6. So 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 1 is 49. Right now, the way the book wants us to think of this is now we have 4, 9, 6, 2 times 10. So move everything over one place value. We get 4, 9, 6, 2, and I need 1, 0 in the end. Now here, same numbers. So this is going to be 4, 9, 6, 2, but times 100 now. So we're going to move everything over. 4, 9, 6, 2, and we need two zeros on the end. And then again, taking these just here, 4, 9, 6, 2 times 1,000. So we have 4, 9, 6, 2 with three zeros. And it is helpful if you put those commas in. It makes it a little bit easier to read. Right, same thing here. Now we're going to multiply this number by 3. So let's do the times 3. So we're going to do 3, 0, 4, 0 times 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 3 times 3 is 9. Right? So we get, uh, we get 9,120 times 10. So 9, 1, 2, 0. And I need one more place value right there. So here, 9, 1, 2, 0 times 100. So 9, 1, 2, 0. And I need two place value holders. That there, that there, and then I'm going to have 912 times 1000. So I have 912, and then I need, oops, I forgot the zero. 9120, there we go. So I need the zero here, and then I need three place value holders, and there you are. Now, let's see if we can figure this one out. Lily has a faulty calculator where the number four does not work. She wants to find 1,300 times um, 400. Explain how she can use the calculator to find this answer. Well, what can we divide 400 up into? Well, we could divide it up into two numbers that multiply together to make 400 that doesn't need a 4. So there's a lot of ways she could do this. She could break it up into 2 times 200. Um, or she could do 50 times 80. Right? Um, and there are probably some other ones in there, but um, like 20 times 20. Right? Uh, those are some different options. Could do five. Um, oh, it would be nope. I did that one wrong. Too much. Too big a number. It could be fifty times eight, or it could be five times eighty, or it could be, uh, and then you'd just be doing the opposite things backwards, but eighty times five or um, what would that be is that all of them uh, yeah I think that's all or eight times fifty all right so um, so those are some different ways you could do it why because this goes together equals four hundred this goes together to equal four hundred this goes together to equal 400. 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 All right? Now let's see if we can figure out what the actual answer is. You text and ask us to do this. If you didn't, that's okay, but how would we do this? We'd have 1,300 times, and then let's just use one of these. Let's do two times 200. Right, so let's do this part first. 
So 1, 3, 0, 0 times 2 would be 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 2, 3 is 6, 0 times 1 is 2. So that gives us 2, 6, 0, 0 times 200. Now we can just take this part, and actually what we can do here, so here's a trick. We can take 26 times 2. 26 times 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So this is 52. And then all of these zeros represent place values that we have to move over. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's four place values I need to move over. I need four zeros on the end. And your final answer is 520,000. All right. Well, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day and I look forward to seeing you next time.